Behind me, I have a test shoot up. Here's the story. Bottle of Bombay Sapphire, nice gin and tonic right beside, animating the light, and a claw machine to drop the lemon. To start it all off, the idea behind this shot was kind of inspired by the last shot that you see in the Bombay Senses ad. You always kind of see a last look hero shot of the product in a commercial, and Bombay Sapphire tends to have really cool and creative ones. So I wanted to do my own take on one of these shots. The idea is gonna be a bit different though. I'm gonna be filming it vertically for starters. And I wanna display it on my IG account. And really this is just a test shoot to see if the concept works. I'm gonna do a single take stop motion with some great audio. And I have some new rigging equipment that's gonna make this shoot possible. This is about the third cookie that I've cut out, but I think I got the size of the window just right. Any amount of light spill will just destroy the contrast that we're getting from the window pane. This is RG kit play that we're gonna be using for this shoot. Two motors the pusher, and the rotating disc that we're gonna to use to animate the light. I'll jump into manual mode on the RG Kit Play app, rotate the light to its starting point, select the direction that I wanna rotate, select the departure distance that it rotates each time. I know right off the bat that I'm probably gonna to have to test out which degree works best. This will determine just how fast and smooth that that light of the window pane moves across the background. I'm gonna try a few different light modifiers to see what gives us the best pattern on the background there. We tried the dish reflector first, then the dish reflector and the grid, and then finally just the bare bulb. And for me, the bare bulb is the clear winner. Other than animating the light, I thought having a slice of lemon fall from the top of the frame and drop into the side of the glass next to our product would be pretty cool. Right above the drink, I'm attaching another rotator and the pusher arm with a clamp to this stand. I'm measuring out a piece of wire and attaching a fishing hook to the end of it so I can use it to animate the lemon on the way down. I have 12 inches of travel before this lemon reaches the top of the frame, so I think I'm gonna move the pusher arm in one inch increments per photo. That way I can rotate the lemon 12 times before it reaches the top of the glass. In the app, select the gear, in this case the pusher arm. This will give me some specific settings that I can use. I'll choose the direction that I want it to move, and down here, set it to one inch per movement. I've been looking for some equipment that would help me get more complex shots. Ideas that I have in my head that I can't really do by hand, at least with any kind of accuracy or repeatability. So I wanna give a huge shout out and thanks to RG Kit Play for providing these rotator motors and all these different accessories for this video. It's pretty cool how many aspects of each motor that you can control independently via the app the start time, you know, when you want to start the movement, the departure speed, the return speed. If I wanted to move away from the motor or towards the motor, I can change the acceleration if it eases in and out of the movement or decelerates at the end of the movement or accelerates and all that good stuff. And there's just a lot of different things that you can change, you know, per movement or per accessory. And then you have all these different accessories that you can use to make these more complex, impossible shots and movements. There's a ton of great work that other photographers have created using this kit, and they've posted them over on the Argineering IG account, so you should go check that out. For this shot, I have both the rotator for the light and the pusher with the lemon set to specific distances. The light is moving in five degree increments and the pusher in one inch increments. So I think that's it for this setup. Time to get rolling. I'll turn off the pusher arm and just rotate the light for this first pass, rotating five degrees per photo. With each photo, I hit the play button, the light rotates, and I take another shot. Then for the second set of images, I'll rotate the light and drop down the lemon slice at the same time. Once the lemon lands in the drink, I'll do another pass with only the light. Now it's time to make the drink. Now that we have the glass there, I think we can start off with the first pass of the light through our cookie. For the second pass of the light, the second animation of the light, I'm gonna be filling the glass with a little bit of tonic with each picture. So as the light moves across the background, the glass fills up. Yeah, 
I think it came out pretty good so far. We have the first pass of the light where the empty glass is visible and then the second pass where the liquid fills up the glass really quickly. Now it's time to drop the lemon. I'll take the images that I captured when only the light was rotating and use them to mask out the wire in the lemon images, frame by frame. Then bring them all together with a few good sound effects in Premiere. We actually created a second version of this where the light pauses as the lemon falls. Let us know which one you like better in the comments. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this shoot. A huge shout out and thanks to RG Kitplay for sending over the gear. Check them out down in the description below. But as always, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Turn on notifications, drop some comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one.